Point. We're here with Chase Hitchcock, who is riding Sagacious, and Sagacious' owner, Al Gooden. Sagacious was chosen as our Transformer Equine Sport Horse of the Week. Chase, what are your plans with Sagacious this, this week? We're excited to be competing in the Five Star this week. Um, so we're doing the Grand Prix tomorrow and then the Freestyle on Friday. So that'll be our first time out in the CDI ring this season. So we're looking forward to having a good first showing. And this is a long way, Al, from uh, Sagacious's first time out. How many Grand Prix has this horse gone over the years? Oh, I don't know, probably 150. And he's been with him the whole journey. Uh, highlights of his career? Well, I can remember his first training level test when he ran out of the ring. So he's uh, come a little, little bit. And he's been to he's been to Europe, I think, three times, and he's been to Rio on our Pan Am team one year. Uh, and Chase won the Brentina Cup on him, and she won the national championship at, for professionals for Grand Prix and Grand Prix. Freestyle. So he's, he's been around a little bit. I had set a few things. Uh, where are your sights set now? If you had anything you could wish for would happen this year. We're hoping to make a run for WEG this year. So um, the top eight will be sent over to Europe at the end of the season. So we're hoping to be in the running for that and then see what happens over in Europe. Cool. And uh, how old is Sagacious now? It's going to be 19 at the end of March. It's kind of an amazing journey to be able to keep a horse sound and going and keep his mind and his attitude still. It actually looks better than I remember from years back. So he obviously really likes Chase. Um, best thing about Sagacious overall? I think his character. He's the most generous horse. He just gives and gives and never says no. Cool. And you're pretty happy to have him here. I remember reading a little something that he got stuck in quarantine through a, uh, some kind of a mix-up. <laughs> That's an understatement. I think it took a couple of years off both of our lives, but we're happy to say it had a happy ending after a couple of weeks of pins and needles, and we're just happy to have him home and happy and healthy and you know, ready to compete again. Certainly doesn't look like it took any years off of his life. He looks fabulous no, he as always. he seems to enjoy the vacation, actually. <laughs> I, I have the feeling that a lot of people, myself included, are really, really rooting for him to be at WEG this year, so I wish you the very, very best luck. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Super horse. Super people.